Hi, Greg here from the Ballistic Barbecue Channel, right here on YouTube. Today I'm hanging out with the Primo Ceramic Grills channel and I'm going to be preparing slow roasted rack of lamb. We're going to kick this video off by introducing the real stars of this show. I have two gorgeous, gorgeous racks of lamb here. As you can see, the bones have been nice and cleaned up. They've been Frenched here for that beautiful presentation. And each one of these racks weighs in at about one and three quarter pounds. I'm going to go ahead and set these off to the side and we're going to start the recipe off by preparing a really nice fresh herb rub. All right, we're going to start this off with two tablespoons of sea salt, two tablespoons of ground black pepper, four tablespoons of fresh chopped basil, four tablespoons of fresh chopped rosemary, four tablespoons of fresh chopped thyme, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two tablespoons of dry oregano, two tablespoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, two tablespoons of one of my all-time favorite spices, and that is ground coriander seed, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of cumin, two tablespoons of chili powder. This is ancho chili powder that I'm using, but you can use whatever you want. And two tablespoons of seasoning salt. I'm using Lowry seasoning salt. Now I'm going to use a whisk. I just want to make sure that this gets nice and incorporated. A spoon can kind of just push things around. So a whisk does the trick here. All right, and that's looking good. Let's go ahead and move this off to the side and we'll put that lamb back in play here. First thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil on the meat side of this rack here. Doesn't need to be a lot. You just want to make sure that it's enough to where the rub will stick to the meat. All right now I'm going to take the rub we're going to put a pretty heavily application on both of these racks of lamb here. Make sure you press it down with your hand so that it sticks. All right, that looks good. Smells great. What I'm going to do now is place these in a glass like a baking dish, cover it with plastic, and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. So, I'll see you tomorrow out at the Primo. All right, here we are 24 hours later and I am ready to cook some lamb. I have the Primo running at 250 degrees. Lorvin is open about a finger's width. Daisy wheel is open about three quarters of the way. And I have the heat deflectors in, so we are cooking on indirect heat. Let's get the lamb on. Basically going to place these on the center of the racks. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is insert a wireless thermometer. Just want to make sure it's in the thick part of the meat and we're not hitting any bone. All right, now lamb is just one of those meats that's best when cooked to temp. And I prefer mine at 140 to 145. So my plan is to basically pull this meat once it's 130. I'm going to take it in the house, cover it with some foil, and I'm going to allow that carryover to bring it up to my desired temp. Now running the Primo at 250, I'm guessing it's going to take anywhere from two to two and a half hours. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're at two hours, 10 minutes, and we're at 130. Looks good and it smells just amazing, all those herbs. So anyway, again, what I'm going to do is pull this. I'll wrap it in foil. We're going to let that carry over, bring up the temperature a little bit. We'll be carving this lamb in, I'm guessing, 10, 15 minutes. See you in the house. Temperature of the lamb has risen to 140 right where I like it. We're going to go ahead and carve these up. Don't go anywhere because we're not done with the preparation. There's another step you need in order to serve these things correctly per the recipe. Let's just go ahead and slice into these things. And I'm going to go ahead and cut two bone chops here. There you go. Nice, medium, rare.
All right, now to finish this off, we're kind of going with that little Greek vibe here in theme with the lamb. Nice fresh lemon. Looks really good. Can't wait to try this. Now with me, if there's a bone attached, I'm using it as a handle. Mm. Wow. That lemon just really makes it pop, but those herbs, unbelievable. And I'm thinking this would be a perfect kind of an alternative meal for the holidays. You know, you got Easter coming up, Christmas. This is wonderful. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing, sub, and also check me out on Ballistic Barbecue. See you on the next video. Cheers. <laughs>